In this particular video, you are going to learn what is safety relay, how to do wiring for safety relay, and what are the industrial applications of a safety relay. Let's start with what is safety relay. A safety relay is a device that monitors for the potential errors or faults in machinery or plants and works to prevent injury and reduce risk. When an error occurs, the safety relay initiates a response to bring the risk back to safe acceptable level. Safety relays protect both machinery and employees, preventing potential expensive maintenance and equipment replacement. Safety relays can be single function or multifunction. Single function relays monitor a specific type of activity while multifunction safety relays can monitor different functions. Multifunction safety relays can be used in place of several single function individual units. The benefit of using multifunction relays include simpler installation and less wiring, as fewer individual units are needed using multifunction relays. Let's talk about the applications of safety relays. Safety relays are commonly found in industrial machinery where safety is critical, like industrial manufacturing plant environment where there is a lot of motors, machinery and conveyor belts. Safety relays are often found in following control devices. Two hand controls, magnetic switches, three position devices, safety switches and emergency stop button. Now let's talk about how to do wiring for a safety relay. In this video I will train you how to wire SRB301 safety relay and emergency push button. Let's have a look at that how safety relay looks like. You can see these are the terminals of a safety relay. A1 terminal, S11 terminal, S12 terminal, X2, 41, 13, 23, 33. And here A2, S12, S22, X3, 42, 14, 24 and 34 terminal. Now let's understand the wiring of the safety relay. Like any other electronic device, safety relay also requires power. Let's start with the power connection first. Positive 20 volt would be connected to A1 and 0 volt would be connected to A2 terminal of safety relay. Now let's wire input channels. For first input channel, connect one NC contact to the terminal S11 and S12. After that, we will wire second input channel. For that, another NC contact need to be connected to S21 and S22. We are done with the connection of input channel. Let's wire safety relay out outwards 13 to 14, 23 to 24 and 32 to 34 are NO contact outputs. Output 41 to 42 are NC. Here first safety enabling circuit terminal 13 to 14 is energizing K1 and K2 contactors. 41 to 42 will be used for LED indicators. It would light up when circuit requires reset. External reset button would be added in feedback circuit in series between S12 and X2. One thing to remember here, there's a micro switch behind the main cover of the safety relay. It should be in a QS position. That's what we have today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.